Hi, Cottondale. This is Pastor Chad, and I've, I've been getting some questions about how we can give uh, during this season. Obviously, we can't pass around the offering plate, and the church uh, does uh, still have financial needs. And so I appreciate uh, those of you who have reached out and have been intentional about uh, finding out how you can continue to support the ministry of our church. And I just want to thank you for your faithfulness and generosity uh, and desire to continue to worship the Lord through the giving of your tithes and your offerings. So really appreciate that. Uh, it's very simple, something that's uh, available to everyone and that's easy to do is you can simply mail your check to the church P.O. Box account. Uh, that address is P.O. Box 4571 Eastman, Georgia 31023. P.O. Box 4571 Eastman, Georgia 31023. And uh, in addition to that, you can also give online and it's really simple to do that. And I'll just pull up a screen and show you how I have my browser set up here and on your computer you can just go to cottondalebaptistchurch.com it's already up there so I'm just going to hit enter and uh, when you pull it up or if you pull it up on your smartphone there should be three little lines at the top left or top right I can't remember that that pull up the menu and when you hit that button on your smartphone it'll pull up these tabs here but on your computer the tabs are at the top and you're just going to click, click the give button and that brings you to the give page and when you do you can scroll down and uh, there's just a menu that gives you uh, uh, preset amounts you could choose or you could choose your own amount here so it doesn't matter how you do it you just choose it you could choose any amount that's not listed or, or put one of your own choose whether you want that to be a credit card um, or a debit card and then you can also choose whether you want that to be a one-time gift or you can set it up here to be a recurring gift. Give it every week, month, quarterly, annually, and it'll automatically charge that to your, your card however many times, uh, whatever frequency you want it. And then when you have that set up the way you like, you can just click Give Now and that'll take you to the next page where you can just set your, uh, your, your name and billing address and card information, and everything like that. And there is one little button here that, that asks you if you would like to add the, the, uh, amount to cover the cost of the transaction. So when you give, uh, via a credit card, there is a small fee. Um, it's around 3%. And, um, and so you have a choice to add that amount so that, um, uh, you know, you, you can cover that amount. Um, as opposed to it coming out of your, your offering to the church. So, so that's up to you. So that is uh, one slight disadvantage of giving online, um, but it, uh, it is a, an easy way and, and, and you have that option there. And then you can just click the Give Now button and, uh, and that'll take care of it. And you'll be set up and, um, and, and have gave uh, unto the Lord. And um, I, that's my sincere desire that that's what we would ultimately be given to is to the Lord. And so anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, as always, if you need anything, please let us know. Um, Lord willing, we'll be able to see one another and worship together again in person. And I truly long for that day. I love you, church. I miss you. God bless you.